Okay, are we here, guys? Oh my goodness. I think we're live. Ugh. Let's hold our breath and cross our fingers. YouTube, I'm not happy with you right now. You changed your app, and um, and it, it's like it's like somebody comes into your house and they they serve you by emptying out your dishwasher. I don't know if you've ever had anybody do this. You know, they they put away all your clean things in a place where you would never ever put them, and it takes you six months to find that spatula, or that special pan, or that lid. Okay, a little bit of a rant here. Um, so yeah, I was having trouble connecting. The internet here just said, no way, Jose, we don't like you today. <laughs> so um, it looks like we're up and running, yay. So I, guys, I'm so sorry um, for that delay. I am not gonna take blame for this one. Um, I feel like the, the, the muses are against me <laughs> today if there were such things. So anyway, let's go ahead and start again, shall we? Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet. And welcome to Friday Fun. Um, it's not Friday frustration, it's Friday fun today. So let's have some fun. Um, I've already gotten the frustration. So I don't know if, how many of you guys are still here. Thank you for remaining in the chat. I didn't have to establish a new link, thankfully. Um, I'm not sure I could have figured that out within the next <laughs> hour anyway. Anyway, I wanted to say hey to folks first of all. Hey Charlotte. She says, happy Friday from Ohio. Yes, it's going to be a happy day. And Jan, she says, she ordered my baby blanket book from my Etsy store. Thank you, Jan. And she's waiting patiently. Um, supposed to arrive on November 2nd. Yeah, I did get that in the mail to you. I get try to get those as soon as I get them in. I try to get them out that day or the next day, depending on when they come in. So thank you for your support there, at um, Jan. And any of you all looking for any of... You know, I have some books, about five books, I think, in my Etsy store. If you want something, you know, autographed or signed in a special way for a friend or for yourself, just let me know. Just, you know, give me some special instructions there, and I'm happy to do that. I, I sign them all out, sign them all when I send them out. So if you're looking for something like that, please give me give me a try. The link is in the video description below. Um, the books that had the... The rainbow baby blanket in it are on order. I'm expecting more in. I actually sold out of those, but I'm expecting more. Um, I have 20 up in my Etsy store, but those will ship out as soon as I get them. I'm expecting those November 4th, I think. So they're on the way. So just to let you know, and thank you for, for helping me with those. Um, let's see, we have Alana. She says, hi. Uh, chilly here in Middle Tennessee. Yeah, it's it's a little chilly here in South Carolina today, and it's going to get a little cooler, but but really not cold, but just a little cooler here too. Um, and Jan says it's chilly, 34 degrees and sunny. Woo, uh, that's a lot cooler than it is where I am, Jan. Um, and she's in Illinois. We have Wanda Gordon from Sunny Bahama, North Carolina. She said, I hope everyone is doing well after the storm. I'll need to watch later. Today, I'm helping with grandkids virtual school. God bless. Wow, isn't that great, Wanda? Um, yeah, I hope you guys are okay. That that storm, was it Zeta? That kind of passed through. I mean, this storm was moving at like 35 miles an hour, which is really fast, and with like 50 mile an hour and above winds. I know north of us in the state of South Carolina, they had a lot of trees down. Um, we had a lot of gusty winds blow through here yesterday with some rain, but we didn't get the brunt of it at all. Um, but I hope that you guys are okay. I, I did see that some of my crochet friends are without power. So, you know, God bless you guys. I hope hope you get that up and running soon. Um, let's see. Doo, 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 doo. And Jan says, yeah, um, she says, God bless Wanda. Helping with school is a daunting task. Oh, don't we know it? Ah, I did that for about 19 years with my kids. Yay. Um, and let's see, Swati in, in the chat from L.A., sunny L.A. Hope your family, you and your family are well. Thank you, Swati. I hope those fires aren't bothering you too much, my friend. Um, I hope you're doing well with your knitting and, and crocheting. And, and, and congratulations again on passing your test and getting your, your um, raise and everything last week. That was such good news to hear. Um, we have Tamala. She says, hi, Bonnie. A chilly day here in West Virginia. Oh, I bet it is in those mountains, Tamala. Um, I have a really good friends of mine. They, they go back and forth to uh, West Virginia. They love it there. 
And we have Kathy from Ingersoll, if I'm saying that right, Ontario. Thank you. Got a Canadian friend there. Um, and let's see. <laughs> um, Hannah. Hannah's in the chat. My my sweet administrator, uh, daughter, sweet thing. Um, she says, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Dang it. Just, I just turned afternoon. <laughs> Oh boy. Yep, that's my girl. And uh, Marie's in the chat. It's good afternoon, Bonnie. How are you? Well, Marie, once I get past these technical difficulties, doing pretty well. Uh, so we have, um, yeah, Alana says, don't feel lonely, Bonnie, on a new iPad going crazy. Ugh. I understand, Alana, too. It just takes a lot sometimes. You know, once, you know, sometimes these, these programs, I know Facebook does it too. You know, once you get used to the way things are and you adjust and you don't have to think anymore, and then they switch it up just because they can, I guess, to make it better. <laughs> I am such a creature of habit. I, I kind of like things to stay the same just a bit, if you can relate. But I understand progress, um, but sometimes progress is a little painful. Um, Linda Jones says, hello, I missed the last two Fridays because of appointments. So happy to finally get this from the start. Linda, thank you for joining us. I hope things are going well with your appointments and all. Uh, I'm going to be traveling to Maryland in a couple weeks, in a little over a week or so, to actually do some of those same kind of appointments myself. Um, and Carolyn says, hello, Kathy. Glad to see another Canadian here. She's from Stratford, Ontario. How cool is that? Probably kind of cold right now. Um, and we have Tamala, let's see, uh, and Brenda Mack from Oha from Idaho, she says, book arrived and buying yarn like crazy, husband worried. <laughs> okay, yeah, just joking. Uh, enjoy it, Brenda, that's what life is all about, right? If you can't enjoy life now, what's the point? Um, and thank you again for your support there, my friend. And let's see, we have... Uh, Da, 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 da. Oh, Carolyn Neal says, um, in my response to, I think Halloween came early <laughs> to my internet. Yeah, I think I had some demons in it this morning. Um, she says, must be because it's too late for April Fool's. Ew, yeah, I get you there. Um, and Jan says, uh, hand up to Hannah. I still have an hour morning, uh, an hour of morning. It's only 11 a.m. Okay. It's only 11 a.m. in Illinois. So I guess somewhere in the world, Hannah, it is morning. So there. Um, we have, uh, ooh, Tracy says it's only 9 a.m. in California, Northern Cali. Wow. Um, and, um, and Linda Jones, uh, I, oh, I just tried to link. Okay. Yeah, Linda, I'm here. So sorry, you guys, again, for all the, all the oopsies there with them. Um, between the internet and and the, the YouTube program, and I think my phone maybe may have been conspiring against me as well. Um, I'll tell you what happened on the phone. There are certain places where you go live and do certain things, and they took that away and they moved it somewhere else into one of those hidden little boxy categories where you have to click and click and click on things to find out where it was to go live. I don't know if it's because too many people were going live and they wanted to cut back on it. I don't know. But um, they moved it to this thing under a big plus. So unless you knew to hit that plus, you couldn't find all the other options that were normally there. So I am like, ah, where is it? And um, then once I did find it, it wouldn't go live for me because of a glitch with the internet. So anyway, but hopefully, fingers are crossed. I hope that we are, we're good to go for a little while. And I'll stop fussing. <laughs> uh, um and Tracy says she's excited that she gets to see a live without having to work. Good for you, Tracy. Um, she says, I'll keep crocheting and waiting for you. Thank you for your patience, my dear. Um, and let's see. Uh, oh, we have Becky Wampler. She says, y'all ladies put me to shame seeing all your work. And I'm still working on my granny square shawl from a couple weeks ago. My mom has, has us addicted to loopy yarn now. <laughs> Well, Becky, there is never a rush in any of these projects, sweetheart. Please, you know, it's the way I like to see it. There, there's an old, you can look this up on YouTube. There's an old Michael Card song called Joy in the Journey. I love that song, and I think that's my motto. There should be a joy in the journey, and if the journey is not joyful, hop off that train if you can, whether it's a crochet project, knit project, or whatever. If it's not a joyful journey, feel grace to set it aside for another time or 
for a never time. That's kind of what I've done um, at times. Um, so anyway, Becky, you enjoy that journey, my friend. Um, and don't feel any rushed by anything I show you or anything anybody else shows you. Just enjoy what they're doing and just enjoy your journey. Um, and Vilma says, good afternoon all. Sun is shining with a temperature of 3 degrees Celsius here in Ottawa. Wow, that's 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you for converting that for us Americans because we do not do Celsius speak. I promise, well, Vilma, every time I see Celsius, I start, okay, I get to get the calculations going. Um, and my husband's better at that than I am since he's a scientist. But thanks for converting it for us. That gives us a good idea. So the way I remember Celsius, zero degrees is equal to our 32 degrees, which is freezing. So that kind of is my reference point there. Um, oh, we have Emily in the chat. Hey, Emily. She says, it's such a blessing to be in a live chat. Wrapped in my grandma's crochet blanket crochet. How sweet is that? Um, and we see a lot... Alma says so she's working on the Aaron Hart blanket, trying to finish for a Christmas gift for my 10 year old granddaughter. Thank you for all these tutorials. You're such a blessing. Thank you, Alma, for the way you guys just let me know what you're doing. And you're blessing me every time I hear that something is that I've done is working for somebody out there. Um, I, I will say that um, sometimes it's with fear and trepidation. I put these um, videos out there. There's at least a thousand ways where I can go wrong in giving you the instruction. And I have gone wrong a few times, believe me. And I'm aware and I try to correct where I can. But, um, but beyond that, when you're learning, you know, learning a new skills, if you've ever taught a teenager how to drive, you know there's a thousand ways that they can go wrong, go wrong, go wrong. And crocheting is no different, although crocheting is a lot safer than teaching a teenager to drive. So um, anyway, and for those of you who say, oh, you're so patient. Well, I taught five kids to drive and I taught them in a 15 passenger van. Ha 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 ha. So um, yeah, life has been fun. It is fun and it never fails to be interesting and exciting with five children. And now that they're adults, it, it gets even more exciting at times. And I have to tell you a story. Um, to this day, I don't have any grandchildren yet. You know, yeah, you kind of hope for that. But, you know, I'm trusting the Lord. And I know that in his time, um, you know, he may bless. And I'm looking forward to that. But no rush. But in the meantime, there are two, my two married, two of my three married children have kittens. They have, well, they have cats, full grown cats that, you know, it's kind of an extended fur baby. And, um, Two nights ago, we get this emergency call from Becky. You know Becky, who is in our um, one of our admins when she can be in, in, in the loop here with us. She's working today again, so she's not able to. But Hannah, God bless you. I am so thankful for you um, helping me with this. Even though Hannah is not a, a big crafter, crocheter, but she cheerfully is helping us, just to let you all know. Um, but anyway, the Noel the cat... She was adopted from a rescue for four years ago. It's been a while now. But anyway, she got sick. So she's, my daughter is texting me and, Mom, this is going on. What do I do? And um, I used to work at an animal hospital when I was in high school. But I never had a cat in the house. We've always had outdoor cats or no cats. So anyway... You know, so we're back and forth, you know, texting back and forth, going to Google, and then I'm having, you know, I'm contacting a couple of my, my cat expert friends and trying to figure it out. And I think we kind of worked out that she may be having a hairball problem, and I won't get into all the details of that, but, um, you know, some pretty scary things. The cat was having respiratory difficulties, and all these things came on very suddenly, so it was kind of scary. But the good news is she's doing well, and she's fine again. And, and we kind of know how to go forward from this point on. So just really thankful. And I don't even know why I went into all that. But anyway, for you, you ladies and gentlemen who have kitties, I think you can understand this better than me. But um, it was kind of scary. <laughs> so all that to say, it's never boring. Even if it's from a distance or over FaceTime, life is fun. <laughs> Always exciting. Anyhow. Boy, all that from an from video teaching crochet. Go figure. That's a lot of a lot of in the weeds rabbit trails there, guys. Sorry about that. Um, 
Now you know how my mind works sometimes. Um, oh, Swati, so happy for you. She's like, thanks for your kind comments and remembering my good news. Oh, I, that is just so exciting. I know you've worked so long and hard to, to get to that point. Um, and Jan says, um, had a call from Joann's here in Illinois. I have a job interview on Tuesday at 9.30. So excited and worried. Oh, Jan, you'll be fabulous. You're such an encourager and a craft lover and a crocheter. You'll, you'll do great. Um, boy, they're going to be lucky if they can get you, my friend. Um, we have Paula. She's like, hello, Bonnie and fellow yarn lovers. Happy Halloween. Thank you, Paula. And we have um, Tanike. Uh, da, 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 da. Ain't we lucky, Bridget? Still hungry, though. Tea and cookies, it is. I'm not. I'm coming in backwards from the bottom of this this discussion. I must must be. Um, and Cecilia says, "Happy Friday! I'm crocheting five friendship shawls for my neighbors at Thanksgiving. A different pattern and color for each, so I don't get bored." Wow! How nice of a friend are you, Cecilia? That's great. We have Renee from Massachusetts and Thora from Iceland. Oh, Thora, thank you for joining us. I watched a movie this week. Um, that was filmed in Iceland. And let me tell you, after I saw that movie, I was ready to pack my bags and get away for a while and visit you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do have that. I do have your homeland on my list, on my bucket list for that day. Um, let's see. Oh, we have Emmeline in the chat. Emmeline, I hope, you're, hope your son-in-law is doing well. Uh, oh, she says, Dave is doing a little better at least. Amputations are over. Switzerland is having snow. Thank you for letting us know, Emily. I've been thinking of you when God calls you to mind, and, and we'll pray for you. Thank you for, for updating me on that. And Bridget says, Hi, Bonnie. You're an hour earlier here in UK because we put our clocks back last Sunday. Well, Bridget, we will be ready. We're doing that this Sunday. Or this, yeah, that's right, Sunday morning at 2 a.m. Don't forget to change your clocks back, everybody. Or you will be an hour early to church if you go if you're allowed to go to church. You know if your church is meeting, you're going to be early if you don't turn your clocks back this week. So I have done that in my lifetime <laughs> a couple times. So don't forget, spring forward, fall back. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> um, and we have Genevieve in the chat. Hey, Genevieve. And um, Dawn from South Dakota, she said, I was worried about you and everyone there. God bless you and everyone. Thank you, Dawn. That is so sweet of you. And Dora from Spain. How wonderful. Thank you for, um, thank you for being in the chat, Dora. Um, and Randy says, uh, I met Lana and the pups at So Original last week. Told her you sent me. Great shop and great lady. Yay, Randy. Thank you for stopping in. Isn't she wonderful? When I saw Lana and the pups, I'm like, oh, did she really go to so original? She did. If you guys ever get into um, the Washington, it's, it's north of the Washington, D.C. area, um, around only Sandy Spring area of Maryland, you must, 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 must go by so original. They are closed on Mondays, but they're open all the other days of the week. Um, so anyway, great store, wonderful. It's like walking into a yarn encyclopedia. Um, and Terry Redmond says, good morning, Bonnie, Hannah, community. Pray everyone are well from San Diego, California. We need rain. Uh, Terry, I hope those fires are bothering you too much. Uh, I hope they are getting under control. I did see that my friend in Colorado said they had a lot of snow that that really helped a lot. So I'm hoping you got some of that rain. Um, and we have, is it Racine? It says, chilly here in Indianapolis. And Roy, J Roy J Yell, if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm missing, messing your name up. She says, hello from Scotland. How, how great is that? And Emily says, my kids are still, are sleeping still, so I get to sign in and enjoy a live while crocheting. Whoa. <laughs> How great is that? Um, yeah, Becky says uh, she missed SC fall. I guess South Carolina falls. I guess that's what that says. Cold in East Tennessee. And um, Brat's mom says, "Hi, Bonnie. I was worried about you. Glad you showed up." Yeah, thanks. Thanks. We, like, as I mentioned before, we were having some technical difficulties. Um, 
And okay, I think I've kind of caught up. We have okay, Renee. Renee's hi. My name is Renee. I just started crocheting and I live. I guess I guess that means love your very detailed videos. Well, thank you, Renee. I hope you find what you're looking for. If not, just contact me and I will be happy to help you out. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, let me see. I'm catching back up here. And can we saw Jan at her Joanne uh, interview. Oh, Jan, let us know what happens with that interview, too. They better hire you. If they don't, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Uh, they would be missing out on a really good person if they don't hire you. But anyway. Um, and Alma says okay, she's working on the Aaron heart blanket. Trying to finish for a Christmas gift for my 10-year-old granddaughter. Thank you for all these tutorials. My pleasure, Alma. I love, love, love doing this. Um, and Okay, we did that one. I did. Let's see. Did that one. Okay, I am getting close and everything just jumped on me again. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and show you some goodies that you might be interested in that are coming to my channel. You probably saw this this past week. Um, this is the Uptown hat. This is in the Crochet World magazine for December that I showed you a couple... I think I showed you last week. Let me put my legs down here. Kind of got too relaxed. It is in, it's in this edition, the same one with the poncho. And this week, the matching Uptown Tote is going to be released on the video, on my video channel, on my YouTube channel. So this is a lot of fun. It takes two scans of the Color Made Easy by Lion Brand and one scan of their uh, Go For Faux Thick and quick. This is the thicker version of that yarn. And oh my goodness, it feels so nice. And um, I crochet in between, okay, like for this part, some of you may think, oh my gosh, this is gonna be horrible to crochet. It actually isn't. I use, I believe, the same size hook that I use for the rest of the design. And I crocheted in between the stitches. You can't see the stitches, which is what makes this fur look so seamless but you can feel it with your fingers very well. So you just go in between the stitches, not through the loops. And that's how the top part of this is, is possible. And it makes it very easy. And let me show you something else while we're talking about Annie's things. I got this in the mail this week. I don't know if you've seen this. It's a 2021 or 2021 calendar. Let me show you. So it's, um, maybe some of you don't use these anymore, but uh, some of you may. This is a wall calendar, and I was really impressed. The paper is really nice, and I got my copy free because I renewed for two years with my Crochet World. Um, I think if you re renew for two years, they, they sent this for free. And, and, and when I was looking through it, I had no idea this was in here. I'm like, oh, this is my pattern, guys. So this is one that I did for Annie's a few years ago, and I'm thinking I might work up a video tutorial for this. So if you think you guys would want a video tutorial for these, these are spa cloths. Um, I will put this on my to-do list to come out maybe for the month of December, because I know December is a very slow month for my channel because you guys are slammed. You know, Christmas shopping and the last thing you have time to do, I know in December, is to crochet. Now, whether that's the same case in the pandemic, I don't know. But I am going to, oh, thank you. Who's that? Thank you, Tiara. That is so sweet of you to um, to contribute to my channel in that way. Um, let me go ahead and take a look at that, what she said. I just saw that come in. Uh, where did it go? She says, love your channel. You're my favorite YouTuber. Oh. I almost missed it again, no notification, just showing my appreciation. Um, I live I live for Crochet Channel, thank you. Well, thank you, Tiara. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, any donations that you send in by hitting that little dollar sign app, 100% of that is donated um, to the Shriners Hospital for Children. I haven't mentioned it in a, in a couple weeks, but 
um, that's pretty much where that goes. And every time we get to $100 in donation totals, um, I do a silly crochet song for you guys. So I know maybe some of you are like, ah, I don't want to hear her sing. Okay, I, but I, I am not a, I'm not a super trained singer by any stretch of the imagination, but if we get to $100, then I will... I will do a silly song for you. <laughs> and I promise I've got an original one lined up that has never aired before. So anyway, but anyway, I'm gonna work up a video tutorial for this. I'll try to have it ready for December. So, you know, it's one of those things if you just need to whip out a quick gift for somebody and you don't know what to get for them, um, that's, that's also where these hats, uh, and you don't even have to bother with the pom-pom if you don't want to, but hats and things like that are great gift ideas. You know, last minute, I can't go to the store because of the pandemic, but I have, you know, three tubs of yarn that I can use for a project. You know, these are the kind of things I'm going to try to feature. Um, anyway, so what I also wanted to show you with this calendar is they are full of weekend projects, projects that you can do in a weekend. Aren't these beautiful? I mean, the photography is, is great on this. Okay. And what's really neat is you don't just get pictures of the um, designs, but in the back, in the back of the calendar, it's a crochet book, and you get all twelve. See, here's mine. You get all twelve patterns included, and the really great thing about this is you can buy these from Annie's. I have a link in the video description below, and get this, it's only eight ninety nine. $8.99 for a calendar and you get like 12 patterns um, and, and they're quick and easy patterns and there's even one here. What is this? Is this for November? Let me show you. Oh, these are pretty. Look at this. To get you in the, the Thanksgiving, November holiday season and then for October. This is for 2021, but isn't that cute? So anyway, if you're looking for that the link, it, it's an affiliate link, you know how those work, they don't cost you anything, but um, no, nothing extra, but I do benefit in a small way if you use the link, and if not, no problem, but it is in the video description below, as are lots of other fun information, and speaking of quick, quick gifts, um, coming to my channel soon, in time for the holidays, and here are two different versions, now Swati, you're going to recognize this, we, we made this during the beginning knit class. And, and Swadia will tell you, she, she made one of these and hers came out great actually. And she was new to, new to, um, to knitting. And, and this is another one that I made. And what's really nice about these, these are really, I'll go ahead and be your model, nice and comfortable and cover the ears. And if you wanna wear it as a headband to hold your head back, you, your hair, hair back, you can, but, um, these are nice. I mean, I probably look goofy right now, but um, these really do cover the ears pretty well. And this is learning how to knit. I will have the complete video tutorial how to learn to knit in a circle. This is with super bulky yarn, so it goes really fast. And if you don't want to knit, I'm going to be releasing another one. It's a little bit chunkier because it's crochet. Um, but I'm going to be releasing another one using the similar yarn. It's a ribbed headband that is crocheted using ribbed stitches. And, and these are nice too. And actually, these are a bit thicker and are going to definitely keep you keep your ears warm. So look for these in sometime in November, December. Okay, so these are coming. These will be quick and easy projects. And I've got something else in the works. Let me go ahead and tell you about this. I'm going to get to your comments in just a second here. Um, I may not get to all of them today, but anywho, as promised, I am working on a pocket shawl for you guys. And this is the yarn I am using. And oh my goodness, this yarn was so much fun. And it's going to look something like this. This is a work in progress. You see my knots hanging on it. <laughs> um, and here is a pocket that needs to be put on somewhere on here. So I'm going to have, this is going to have pockets. I'm gonna show you how to, to make the pockets and put them on. And I'm also gonna make an optional hood because I, I, you remember last week it was the controversy 
hood or no hood 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 no hood hood no hood so um we're going to i am working on this i need to film the pockets and the hoods and i will be done but you know look for this sometime in november super easy um very beginner friendly using the tulip stitch so very easy uh, a quick and easy if you're doing just just the uh, pocket and the shawl part you'll need two scans of red hearts uh, i don't remember the name of it but i will get it to you when the design comes out as we get closer i'll let you know but you're going to need like two scans skeins whatever however you want to say that word um you guys know that story i grew up saying scans so if that's offensive to some of you i'm so sorry i've had people say you're not saying it right and it's like well i've been saying it that way for 50 plus years so i am so sorry it's really hard to change at this point um but anyway that was my cultural interpretation of the word so um you can blame my mom she's from ohio and that's the way she said it <laughs> Um, but anyway, if you want a hood, you're going to need three scans and of course you can use whatever yarn you want. I used, um, it's a worsted weight yarn. You're going to need about a thousand, uh, just under a thousand scans. If you're just going to use the pocket and the shawl part, you're going to need probably 12 to 1300 if you want a hood. At least that's my estimate maybe more like 1500 yeah i'm estimating here because i haven't done the hood yet so that's in the works so let's see what else we got here uh oh i am so far behind so if i skip your comments guys i'm so sorry um i just want to keep in mind um you know all the all the time but I do read every single comment that comes in. If I don't do it during the lifetime, I do read every single one when it, when it, when we are done. Um, oh, and case okay, looks like some of you like the purse. Um, Ann Butler says I have to look for the magazine this weekend. Yeah, Ann Butler, if you need, I have a link in the video description below if you you know need to get in touch with Annie's and. Um, the link for the the calendar will also take you to the same place where you can um, look into the the magazine if that's something you're looking for. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let me send me back up here see if there's anything I missed. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna forge on. Let me let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. La. Okay, I did see something here. Okay, Joni says that her sister is in the hospital as we speak, and she is worried. Um, Joni, I am so sorry about that. Um, let's let's guys let's let's pray for Joni. All right, let's remember her when you think of think of her. That I, I hope she's I hope she's okay. I hope whatever it is, Joni. I hope that it it you know she recovers quickly, and I I will pray for that. Hannah, can you write that down for me so I don't forget? If you can. Um, I would really appreciate that. Um, we have Amy Jo from Southern Louisiana. Uh, let's see. And Jenny is with us. Thank you, Jenny, for joining us today. Um, and Brad's mom says she used to teach knitting and crocheting. Wow. At the uh, Joann's. That, that's pretty cool. Um, and Emmeline says, I just finished my version of the Listoon Varna shawl as a pocket shawl or stool. Well, that is cool. Emily, please send a picture. That would be great if you could post that on my Facebook page. I wish we could post things here on the YouTube network, but I don't think that's possible. I know it's not possible. Um, we have Blind Stitch Cre is, is Creations, Inc. Um, hi, Bonnie. I am Marsha, a blind crocheter. Okay, and I made your shell stitch baby blanket. I love your tutorials. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you, Marsha, for letting us know. Um, I don't know if you're the same one that got in touch with me this week. I, I saw somebody posted on the YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if that was you or not, but but thank you for letting us know. That is amazing. You, you have my respect, friend, uh, to be able to do this without being able to see. That is incredible. Um, although I do remember when my daughter was doing a research paper when she was in college, she did one on... Oh, what is her name, Hannah? Um, the lady who was blind, um, but she 
she taught herself to crochet and knit and I'm just like oh my gosh and and she was also deaf what is her name guys you know who I'm talking about um, brain brain what is brain as Spock would say um, I'll think of it or, or you guys will think of it and post in a minute I'm sure um, <laughs> Roy GL says I do rabbit holes a lot have three fur babies and and one on my, and am on my last row of Celtic, okay, Celtic, okay, that must be mandala throw, okay, I, I bet, I bet um, autocorrect changed it to masala, <laughs> autocorrect is wonderful, don't you love it, oh, um, and Alma wants to know, is that beautiful red blanket on YouTube yet? Would love to crochet this. Yes, this is this is the, um, let me take this off so that you can see it better. This is Bonnie's Autumn Cable Throw, and it is on my YouTube channel. If you just go to my homepage, it, boom, it's right, it should be right there. Um, or if you can't find it on the top of the homepage, if you click on videos, It'll show you all the list of videos that have been released recently, and it should be there, okay? Sometimes that home page doesn't show everything, um, but yeah. Uh, and Tiara says, I finished my rainbow baby blanket, and I asked you how to add more rows, and I figured it out. Yay, Tiara. I wish I could post a picture. This has to be my favorite baby blanket. You can post it to my Bonnie Bay Crochet Facebook page. The video is in the link of the video description. Or you can send it to me at bonniebay at me.com and that is also in the video description. Just send it to my, my business email and I, I would love to see it. And if, if you send me that, I would love to post it to my Facebook page just to show others, to encourage others. It's a little self-promotional, of course, but, um, but it's also to encourage people like you that you may see some stitches like I did when I was younger and think, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I can't do it. It's too hard. And then you take it step by step and you're like, hey, I can do this. Oh, I got to show you guys something. Speaking of, I can't do this. I got to show you what I'm working on. Remember, um, I don't know if Emily, if you're still here, but I am... Let me look at my glasses here so I can look at this. Okay, 21. So this goes right here. I put my little sticky, my little sticky on my stitch diagram. Look at this stitch diagram. Doesn't that look amazing? I, mean, I first looked at this stitch diagram and I thought, I'm not just swimming in the deep end of the pool. I'm swimming with sharks now, guys, <laughs> without a shark cage. You know, I'm like, ah, am I really going to be able to do this? But I started the project in faith not knowing whether I would be able to do it or not. This is the project that I'm working on. Okay, it's a shawl, and this is called Trailing Ivy. And I, this is one of the kits that I was telling you about. Lamb, let's see, did, 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 where is it? Okay, this is, well, anyway, this is part of the kits. The, hold on, hold on. I put I put the description in because I want to get the name right. Lamb Shop Kits. It's Lamb Shop Lamb L A M B Shop Kits dot com. And remember, I showed you one um, many weeks ago, and then I showed you last week my progress. Well, I didn't get a lot done this week, but okay. So this is kind of upside down. This is, you know, kind of. You wear it this direction, and I've gotten to the part. Now keep in mind, I, I am not a super experienced knitter, okay? I would consider myself right now an intermediate knitter um, with not a whole lot of experience. I mean, I, I've, I got the beginning stuff down, but anyway, this is the first time I'm doing something like this. Look at this. You can see right here, I'm about to complete my first leaf. In that section isn't that pretty and and because of the color I was um, I was showing my husband this last night I'm like look at the leaves look at the leaves they're coming out and it's not as horrible as I thought and, and I you know looked up a couple stitches on YouTube and I'm like, oh that's what that means that's easy 
So it's coming, it's coming along. And oh my goodness, this fabric is feeling so nice. This yarn is so nice. And if you're interested in checking out the website to see some of the kits at, at this um, on this site, um, I highly recommend it. It's in the video description below. She's a stay-at-home mom, and and um, and she is starting this small business, and she's doing doing everything first class as far as I can tell. And um, yarn is fabulous. So. You know, if it's something that's interesting to you, you can design the kits. The kits come with um, everything you need, you know, from stitch markers to to needles. But if, I think if you don't want all that with it, I think you can maybe even customize it some. Uh, don't hold me to that, but I think you can. So, but anyway, it's, I think a really good value as well. Um, and if you, it's cheaper to buy the kit than if you buy everything individually. But... Um, check it out it's an investment it's not it's not one of these cheapy deals at all um, but it is one of quality so take a look at that and um, tell Emily I sent you okay um, so anyway I am I'm gonna keep updating you with that and let you know how I'm doing and uh, I'm gonna finish this thing and one reason why I'm gonna finish it is I have another project that I'm gonna be knitting um, I do a lot of crochet too, you know that, but I'm, I'm dabbling on the dark side of the forest, as my daughter would say, um, and I'm enjoying it. It's not as, it's actually easier than crochet sometimes, um, because when, when my hand starts to hurt a little bit from a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of crochet, because sometimes I'll just, just go zooming. I mean, it's just like, go really fast, and which, which is a lot of motion to my hand, and I want to keep my hands healthy. Um, but when I'm doing the the continental knit and I do teach that on my channel if you want to learn the basics of very basics and I take it slow I promise you slow step by step in these videos um, you can make something quickly and you will not believe how easy and similar to crochet the continental knitting method really is uh, and I did learn from Lana the lady mentioned that uh, someone mentioned that she visited Lana's store um, Lana taught me and Lana is amazing. She's my Russian friend. Um, her real name is Sweat Lana. Uh, so she, she's a great gal. But um, anyway, so anyway, as soon as I finish this, then I've got this beautiful sweater that I'm gonna, gonna make. It's with thick yarn and it's alpaca. It's, um, the name of the yarn is Wonder Fluff. I got it off of the Knit Pick site. So I'm going to do an, on kind of a mock unboxing because I've already unboxed it. But I'm going to show that yarn to you guys in a bit. Um, maybe maybe in another live. But it is such nice stuff. All right. Now we have a Knit Crate. I don't know what to call it. Unboxing or unbagging. I think this is October. And hold on a second. I neglected to get a pair of scissors. Hold on. Don't go away. I love my mother-in-law's office. <laughs> she has everything in, in its place. I mean, she's this sweet, wonderful Southern lady. I mean, everything in its place. You know, nothing like my my studio at home. But anyway, so Knit Crate, in case those of you who aren't familiar, it's a yarn, hmm, like a monthly yarn subscription. Um, it is easy to get into, it's easy to get out of, which is very important for those of you who, I know, from the, the good old days, remember they used to have these, um, they used to have these mail service things, they used to have, of all things, pantyhose, and, and I remember, I did that for a while, I was working in an office, and it was nice to have, to know that I was going to be supplied, but then you get to a point where you have, okay, I've got 15 pair, I don't need any more, so I canceled the service, and they just don't like, they don't let you cancel it or, they, or they're like, well, it got crossed in the mail and they just keep sending you things that you don't need and it's a hassle to return. Um, this is nothing like that. Um, this is easy because of the internet. You can change, you can drop it if you don't like it. Um, and you know, you're in control. So, but anyway, it is $24.99 a month for the basic package, which is all that I've gotten. And oh my goodness, ooh, this is gonna be pretty. I, I really have enjoyed it. I have made things with this. Um, 
I've been able to bless others with the yarn that I know who maybe can't afford it, but they would really like something nice to work with. And anyway, you usually get the value inside is usually at least double what you actually pay. Um, if you've been to a boutique yarn store, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, a scan of yarn could cost you anything from 20 bucks each up, and these come with two. So let's let's go ahead. Let's see what's in here. Oh wow. Oh, this feels really nice. I have no idea what this is, but wow, look how fluffy that is. This, Hannah, this looks like Noelle's fur. <laughs> it almost feels like it too. Look, look at how, how furry that is. But let's take a look and see what we have. Oh, wow, this is 82% um, merino wool, 18% Peruvian Pima cotton, this is super bulky, 109 yards, machine wash, gentle cycle, lay flat to dry. So you have 109 yards plus 109 yards, so that's 218 yards, but this is really super chunky. And you know what? You know what? I did not plan this, I promise you. This is perfect for these. This, this is going to be knit headbands I promise you um, or maybe not I don't know I might even be able to get some or this could become really nice hats this can get I can get a lot of stuff out of this so anyway this this is a good candidate for this upcoming project that'll be coming or or the crocheted version although this might be a little chunkier I don't know this this might work this will work for both but let's see what else you get so you get two of these and okay Ooh. oh isn't this cute this is a stitch marker but it looks like a little hank of yarn isn't that cute my daughter actually my daughter Becky Barker I'm sorry Becky Bullabush sorry <laughs> you know married names they're confusing she has she makes these into earrings she makes little hanks of yarn and makes them into earrings so i'll have to put um well if you go to etsy and just look up becky bullabush i no 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 becky becky may crochet oh i'm so confused i'll have to look it up for you and and put it in the in the video description but i'll do that afterwards so if you guys are looking for earrings that look like little hanks of yarn my daughter makes those and sells them in her store so what do we have this is october um it says okay so what we have this time we have a link we have a link to two patterns and i don't really have a way to show these to you uh Okay, so what they've done is they have a link that I can go to, and I think it's is an effort to to go eco friendly by not printing out a booklet this time. Okay, uh, so it said they they are offsetting carbon for every single shipment we send out worldwide. Um, so. Anyway, there is a link that has patterns attached to it that will show you what you can make. They have a knit project and a crochet project for each one. And you know, sometimes they do things differently. Um, although I would say to them, trees are a renewable resource, especially here in the South. It employs a lot of people. So if something is printed on paper, you know, as long as you're not wasting the paper, it's not a problem, guys. Uh, I'm not trying to step on environmentalist toes or anything, but, but golly gee whiz, uh, it's a renewable resource. They grow back every 30 years, and um, I know many people in the industry. I used to work for Georgia Pacific many years ago in the industry, so eh, anyway, that's a little bit of a eh for me. <laughs> um, but anyway, really good value if you're looking for, you know, the... If you're looking for, you know, a yarn supply like this, and it is really fun to be surprised every month what they're going to send you. They'd send you different, some different thicknesses and all. If you want to try it out, you can use my code 
Bonnie 20. The information is in the video description with the link below. If you use my link and Bonnie 20, you get like 20% off your first order. It saves you five bucks. Um, if you want to try it and if you absolutely don't like it, you can just discontinue it right away. Um, but I know a lot of people who've gotten that discontinue it and I, I, I've really enjoyed um, adding to my stash in this way because a lot of times I've actually ended up having nicer yarns in my stash because of Knit Crate than I would have maybe bought at the store myself. So anyway, uh, uh, for that, uh, let's see. Let's just go back and see who else is in the chat. It is one o'clock already. Um, boy, I've talked a lot there. Um, we have, oh, Celine wants to know, how am I? By the grace of God, I am doing very well, Celine. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Thanks for being patient, guys. Oh, hey, Esther. So glad you're there in the chat today. Keep and watch over everything for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you guys are doing up well up there in Jersey. Um, uh, huh. Jan's fun funny. That's funny, the comment about about if she gets the job working at Joanne, she's like um, hoping that will, I guess seeing the problem might be keeping her, her paycheck. Yeah, I can see that Jan, just wanting to spend it all right there at the store. That actually wasn't too much of a problem when I was working at Michael's, but by then I was into some fancy pants kind of yarn too, so that really helped to offset that. Um, let's see. Oh. We have Laura, howdy shell. She says, hello everyone, been busy all summer and missed the live time, but watch the replay. Hope to catch you more often, God bless all. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, and Sharon Wright says, it's, uh, says hello to everyone. It's 51 here in Fort Worth, Texas. Ooh, Fort Worth, I need to get there someday. Um, so we have Tara, she says, hello, hope you're all well. And have I love loopy crochet and treasures. She said, love that purse. Thank you. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, we have Lenore, Leora from Alberta, Canada. Wow, thank you for joining us, Leora. And um, let's see, um, we have Phil. She said, he says, I love it. Thanks for being in the chat with us today, Phil. Um, a lot, of, a lot of nice nice folks here. I wonder if Bobby's in the chat today. Um, just to let you all know, Bobby's doing well. Um, I've been in touch with him and he seems to be doing very well. So thank you for your continued prayers and concern for him. Um, and Laura says, I am making the Celtic cable bag and it is beautiful. You have too many projects I want to do. Can't keep up. Your t-shirt is so apropos. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. Um, I got a lot of shirts too in my Teespring store. If you guys are looking for something to bless somebody who's a crafter or even yourself, that's allowed once in a while. Um, yeah, just look in the video description below in the Teespring store. Lots and lots, more than what's shown at the bottom there. Um, so I, I can't wait till it gets cold enough. I have two sweatshirts that I haven't even worn yet. Um, but as soon as it gets cooler, I'm going to be living in those things. So, uh, we have Bear's Classroom in the chat, and let's see. And Cynthia says she got the Self Striping Projects book this week. Can't wait to try it. Well, thank you, Cynthia. Thanks, thanks for your for your support there. I so appreciate it. Uh, oh, we have Dave, David Browning in the chat. Um, she says, "Oh yes, of course they want you to buy more." I'm not sure. Okay, Hannah said, okay, I think the whole thing with yarn subscription is that once you use up the yarn that was sent to you and you don't have enough, they hope you'll buy more of the yarn you're sent. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, that, that is right, Hannah. And if you ever want to buy extra yarn of the color and type that you got, um, they do have extra sometimes. So you can always check their store. And, and sometimes they have discounts that are even very very good deep discounts if there's especially if there's a yarn they I guess can't get rid of you know it's just like clothing in a store um, you know stuff that's popular sells out and sometimes yarn doesn't and you know, they have to get rid of it somehow and um, that's always you know a continual thing going throughout the year 
Um, Brad's mom says she had cataract surgery four years ago and love my new eyes. Ooh, so I, I missed that. You guys are talking about... Okay, I'm backing up. I'm going backwards, guys. Um, and, and Dave says about that, um, I've looked at yarn subscriptions, but none of them send enough yarn for the blankets and sweaters I prefer to do. I've done enough shawls for one lifetime, and I just don't get cows. You know, I, I am in agreement with that. I've designed some cows, but honestly, David, I don't like to wear them. I, I guess I shouldn't say that, but um, I don't do as much of them now. Um, I like, I like, I like, uh, what do you call it? I like infinity scarves. Those are the most practical for me. They don't get caught in doors, and you can wrap them and wrap them, and they feel like a nice cow, and you, you can wear it as a, as, a, as a long, what am I trying to say, guys? A long scarf or a cow. Um, and, and, and you can do a lot of different things with those, but yeah, I agree. I mean, if you're looking to make a sweater or a blanket, I mean, you can't even, to be honest with you, you can't even find enough yarn to make an Afghan or at least any of the Afghans that I have out there. It's really hard. You know, I, I would, I would almost put money on the table to say, I bet you can't go to any store and get enough scans of the same dye lot in one place. To make my afghans i mean you just can't do it which is another reason why i don't feel guilty one iota saying check out nitpicks at this link check out love crafts at this link and they even run out of yarn too but at least when you order it online you can get all that you need in the same dye lot order it directly from red heart yarns if that's what you like or yarn inspirations whatever you know ordering it direct lion brand company Ordering it directly from them, you'll get what you need in the dye lot and you know and everything that you need. But yeah, you're right, Dave. You know, two scans doesn't cut it for blankets and things. But um, anyway, it's it's still it's still nice to have. Um, I I do have a lot of scarves um, in my wardrobe. I guess because I'm a crocheter and it's just an easy way to add color to my plain Jane um, long sleeve shirts that I wear. So, but, you know, I'm a girl, so it's, it's, it's a little different. I know my husband doesn't wear scarves much, uh, so it's, it's a little different for a guy, I think. Um, yeah, I am just jumping all around, guys. I, like I said, I'm not going to be able to get it. Um, and Tracy says, I missed my knit crate boxes, and I'm too cheap to pay the extra $2 a month for it. Yeah, that's okay, Tracy. You know, it, it, it comes and goes. It depends on what you need. Um, ooh, Terry, let me, let me check, uh, Terry wants to know if I could see her donation, let me see if she, did I miss something there, Terry? If I did, I am so sorry. Uh, man, you guys talked a lot while I was talking, I am so sorry, I'm gonna miss all that. Um, and I'm going to stop apologizing. <laughs> um, okay, I missed a lot. I, I don't, I don't see anything, Terry. Let me let me look down lower. Sometimes these things may be be slow. But anyway, I'm going to have to start wrapping up here soon. I'm just just seeing it, making sure I don't miss anything. Oh, Brad Small looks like um, you guys were talking about losing somebody. I hope I hope I didn't miss something there. Uh, okay, she's talking about eyesight. Okay, I see it. She said her aunt. Brad Small says my aunt lost her eyesight when she was in her 90s, and she could still crank out ponchos like crazy. I don't know how she did it. I couldn't. Wow, that that is amazing. I think it might have something to do with. Um, Muscle memory, that, that is great though. She was, and she, and Brad's mom says she was almost 103 when she died, but was sharp as a tack right to the end. She always said, remember the book I gave you when you were little? Wow. What a treasure, Brad's mom. That is, that is wonderful. Um, and Sherry says that she needs our prayers. Let's pray for Sherry, um, her daughter, had her granddaughter on October 21st and she's three months early. She's in the NICU and ICU in Indianapolis. Okay, Sherry, 
we will be in prayer for your little grandbaby there. Um, Hannah, if you could write that down for me too with a other request, I would really appreciate it. Um, all right. Well, let me just double check. I just don't want to miss anything. I, I really so appreciate you guys. Um, uh, uh, David says, Nitty, have you totally crossed the, is it the, the Tiber on us? <laughs> um, David, where have you been, friend? I, I actually have some knitting projects that have been on my, on my um, channel for more than a year, year and a half. Um, I learned a few years ago and um, I thought I'd never be able to do it. And I actually have taught some, I beginning knit class on Zoom through Crochet Guild of America. Um, I really do enjoy it. I'm starting to enjoy it. Crochet is always gonna be my first love. Um, but I am, I'm becoming friends with, um, with knitting. Now that I've figured out, you know, you always gotta figure out what's going on. And um, it's very similar to crochet should you want to try. I'll just throw that challenge out to you. Um, the key is circular knitting needles. I use a nice wood pair and um, they feel like a crochet hook in my hand and I hold the yarn like I do with my crochet using a continental method. Just take a look at one of the videos and you'll understand what I'm saying. Very similar. Otherwise, I would not, I, I could not do the English style at all. But um, the continental I don't want to say I can fly yet, but I am, I am running fast with it. It is, it is very easy to pick up. Um, and Terry says, my stepmom turned 94 today. How wonderful, Terry. Um, tell her happy birthday for us. She only has arthritis. That green is beautiful for your shawl. Yeah, you know what, Terry? Um, I meant to say, um, my, my husband was looking at the, the green shawl that I showed you that's knit. And he said, oh, that can be your elven cloak, you know, being Lord of the Rings fans. I'm like, yeah, that'll be my elven cloak. <laughs> so don't know that it'll hide me from my enemies when I'm out and about, but it'll be nice. It's a green, nice, pretty green. And Tara says she just posted to my Facebook page under today's link for this YouTube post. Can't wait for you to see it. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. I so appreciate you do, going through that trouble to do that, Tiara. I really do. I can't wait to look at it. Um, and Kathy wants to know, is it really cheaper to buy a kit for stuff? Um, it depends, Kathy. I think if you're going to buy the same quality of what is in the kit, in this particular kit that I was telling you about, yes, the kits are cheaper. I didn't know that for a long time. A lot of kits, when you go into yarn stores... Um, you know, if you price out the yarns per, per scan or per ball or whatever and add that all up, usually the kits are cheaper, which is why they put them together. They can sell, you know, in bulk and they're still making a small profit, but um, you also get a little bit of a deal. And the kit that I showed you includes things like stitch markers and, and the knitting needles and everything. And the knitting needles that I'm using are a quality pair. They're really nice. They're not like the junky pair that I told you all last week. If y'all want to hear my little rant about a pair of, um, it was a Loops and Threads brand. It's a Michaels brand. A pair of circular needles that I bought. I bought, I actually filmed, I tried to film a video with it, but I got so frustrated I had to rip out the project. I just haven't thrown away those needles yet because I'm going to use them as a teaching opportunity. But um, yeah, you can get needles cheaper. You don't want to, I promise. Junk, junk, junk. <laughs> I'm not saying that about all loops and threads things. I've used some of their yarn, some of their yarn I like. I will never buy a pair of knitting needles of that brand ever again. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Isn't that the way that saying goes? Well, they fooled me once. I'm not going to give them a second chance. I believe in grace, but not where those knitting needles are concerned. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I, to make a long story longer. Yeah. I, I think they are ch cheaper. You still have to price it out for yourself to really see if it is a value that, you know, you want to invest in. So, um, and, and Randy says, uh, who, who met my friend Lana at the yarn store, Lana made me promise to let her show me how to continental knit after this COVID mess. Good for her. 
Um, yes, Randy, take a look at my channel. She showed me how to do it. So it's almost like her teaching you. So um, take a look at what, what that, some of the videos, just go to my homepage and just type in knit and see what comes up. And there are a lot of projects, um, small projects there. And then at least show you how the basics go, how to cast on and so forth. Um, and if you have any questions, once the COVID thing, you know, goes down a bit, um, go talk to her and have her double check what you're doing. That's the best thing to do. It's always great to have a second pair of eyes in person, of course. Um, but, but definitely, you know, take a look at the videos because she taught me how to, how to do that. Um, okay. Thank you, Don. Don is praying for Sherry. That, that is so kind of her. Um, so she's been through the same thing twice with her daughter. Yeah, that, that's a big deal. That's hard. Actually, my daughter, Becky, my, she was my first firstborn, and um, she was you know, a big baby. She was nine pounds, nine ounces. Is that right? Nine, nine? Or something like that. But, um, or nine, ten? Anyway, she was a big baby. But um, both of us ended up with group B strep. And we had been tested and everything. It tested negative, but when we went through the birthing thing, um, we both had that. She had a respiration of over 200 breaths a minute, which you know is like a dog panting. Um, and she had to be in the in the ICU for more than a week. And um, I was actually hospitalized too on an IV drip for antibiotics, both of us were. So yeah, that could be pretty, pretty, pretty scary whenever your baby is in that, that unit at the hospital, but, um, They've made, they made a lot of great progress over the years. Um, and Cynthia says that she's extremely late. Well, I'm extremely late reading your comment, Cynthia. She says she wanted to let us know that her cataract surgery went great. Praise God. I'm excited to get my other eye done next month. I love this group. Cynthia, that is fantastic. Uh, and that gives me hope because I know I am probably within a five to seven year window <laughs> of doing the same thing. Um, trying to, you know, doctor didn't say I have to do it anytime soon, but, but thank you. Um, yeah, so glad, so glad that went well. Um, yeah, slow here, you know me. Uh, and Paul is saying she had cataract surgery on both eyes. What a blessing it is. So glad you're doing well. Um, yeah, um, the super chat, I, I talked about that a little bit. There's just a little, a little dollar sign, like I mentioned before, at the bottom of the page. Um, I've never clicked on that myself, and I'm not sure how to exactly go through that but I know that people who have done it you know it, it does come through um, I think um, I'll have to I'll get more information guys but whenever people do use that I just let you know that 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 does help to support um, the Shriners Hospital for Children that's something I really believe in in this chat um, and I am so far behind let's see I'm catching up here um, Okay. Okay, I think you guys are talking a lot about the surgery. That's great. Um, and Don says, I knit also. I tried those cheap knitting needles and I will never do it again. Yeah, Don, it, it ripped my yarn on every single stitch. And I'm like, no! <laughs> uh, yeah, it just wasn't worth the pain. Um... Brad's mom encouraging someone says, you'll be happy when it's done. I'm guessing the surgery on the cataract. It's not painful at all. Now I don't need glasses to drive or do my crafting. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that would be sweet. I, I have contacts and these reading glasses just so I can see everything. Um, yeah, Emily, thank you. Folks, I know it's late. If you could hit the like button, subscribe. You know what you know the drill. I always forget to, to pester you about it, but but yeah, please do that. It, it is important with this algorithm thing. Um, and Irma is encouraging Sherry. She's like, "Don't worry about your granddaughter in God's hands, and we'll and we'll take control." 
My daughter was premature baby. Her weight was one and a half pounds. Oh my goodness. Now she is 30 years old with two beautiful children. Oh, Irma, that's a blessed story. I let, Let's pray that that is the case for Sherry. You know, sometimes God has different plans than what we like, but we will trust him. I agree. Let's just keep, keep praying. Um, and Cynthia is working on a holiday Tunisian cow with 20 new stitches. Oh, my goodness. What a challenge, as well as bodies, autumn cable throw. Ooh, Cynthia, you are swimming with sharks, too. <laughs> Good for you, my friend. I, I love it when you're not afraid of a challenge. And Tanike says, I use clover needles. Love them so much. Yeah, a lot of people do like those. I wish I could get used to tapered hooks, but I can't. Um, and Irma says, God is good all the time. Yes, he is. Um, well, let me go ahead. I want to read a verse to you guys just to encourage you. Um, I read this this morning. Um, I'm still reading the part in the, in the Gospels. I'm a little slow when it comes to the Gospels. I like to, well, the truth, the truth of the matter is, um, my husband's in town, yay. He and Hudson, I forgot to tell you about Hudson. Hudson went through graduation ceremony this week. He graduated, uh, on paper. He's had his diploma for a while, but he graduated back in May. But they actually had a graduation ceremony postponed to this past Tuesday. This is here in um, at the Ori Georgetown Technical College. It's not a university; it's a technical college, and it, it's technical colleges. Guys are so wonderful. Um, I went to a university, never landed that magical job in my field. You know how it goes. Um, at this technical college, would you believe they place ninety percent of their graduates in jobs that they studied for? 90% that is such a value when you talk about investing and you know my son he had a job within a few weeks um, and he wasn't even looking hard um, there are so many people needing what he does he's a he's a machinist a, a computer um, that call it a CNC machinist um, he does a lot more than that but um, Anyway, it's just really proud of him. He graduated um, with with honors. With uh, he was a cum laude, so he, he had a pretty good GPA, which something I didn't do in college. I was trying to work my way through, and it was tough. But uh, anyway, so so excited for him, and so he and and my husband are are visiting uh, from Maryland, and in a week or so, I'm going to be heading back home for a bit. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm going to give you a tour of my new flooring that was put in and we had we were well overdue that's a whole nother that's a whole nother live presentation of itself but um so i've been distracted <laughs> haven't been able to read as much as i would like but um i wanted to read this to you because i've been kind of kind of um what's the word marinating in um jesus's uh sermon on the mount and uh, where is it that I wanted to read? Duh, hold on a second. Okay, here it is. And I think um, this is really needed in the week that we're going into coming up. Um, not going to get into details, but you know it's election week and there's a lot of nonsense flying back and forth. And um, so this really brought conviction to my heart and I hope it blesses you. And I hope it... You know, something you can think of when you're ready to not be so nice to somebody. Um, not that that would ever be you, but I struggle with that sometimes. You know, especially if people aren't nice to me. It's easy to want to just give back what they just gave to you, but that's not the best and it's not the good thing to do. So anyway, then this is... Um, follows the story of the unforgiving servant. I'm not going to read you that story, but this comes right after that. Um, then B Peter came up and said to him, to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven let me read that again. 
I do not say to you seven times seven, but 70 times seven. That's a lot of forgiveness, guys. Um, that's beyond my ability. But I think with God is my helper, it's possible. It must be possible or he wouldn't ask us to do that. So going into this, this coming upcoming week, no matter what, um, let's try to remember that. Well, anyway, um, I'm preaching to myself as much as anybody. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Well, anyway, let me see. I did see one comment come in. Let me see. I just want to see what that might be. Oh, Tracy says, I think there are so many different options for success. I have two adult, productive, awesome kids. One went military and one went trade school, and I don't have to support either. Congrats, Hudson. That, that's fabulous. I mean, yeah, every, every, every one of my children has taken a different path, and, and I think that's, that's fine. Um, ironically, Hudson is probably doing the best financially right now, and he's the one who went to a trade school, and I have kids who graduated with honors from universities and it's kind of still slugging it out, so you just never know. But, um, but yeah, we are so proud of Hudson, and we're proud of Hannah, too. Hannah finished her CNA, her Certified Nursing Assistant Program, um, so keep her in mind guys. She just needs to pass her certification exam, you know, the state exam, and then she's ready to roll. But she's been doing that work though with my mother-in-law for a while. So she, she knows what to do and she's good at it. But anyway, well, that's all I have for today. I will look forward to, oops, we went half hour over. Wow. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks for putting up with all the delays with um, the technical difficulties today. Okay, God bless you all. Bye-bye.